All right, next character. Time for my favorite. She's just so hot. This is my favorite wife in the whole freaking game. Where Matza? First of all, let's just go through the, the costumes really fast. Really, really nice. She doesn't look bad at anything. I'm gonna be straight with you guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Muramasa, this is a. All right, so just get this out of the way right now. Muramasa is from this little visual novel called Full Metal Damon Muramasa. I believe is the name of it off the top of my head. And it is. I'll just spoil this right now. This is apparently regarded as one of the best visual novels to like ever really exist. Like, I'm not really joking about that. It literally is. So, if that point says or a picture about how good people view it, I don't know what really will. So, I, I just like how um, Angela here is regarded as a good assist for both characters. It's hilarious. Right. So, let me go ahead and read you the uh, description for her because this is, a, this is a bit of a doozy. So, <clears throat> One of the Sarugis that houses a spirit, if you don't know Sarugi in Japanese, literally means sword. She is the third bearer of the Saishu Ume no Jo Muramasa, which is also known as the Cursed Armor. Normally, she is a red-colored spider, you, but due to the, quote, human transformation law, she can also take the form of a woman. And I'm a fan of the woman that spider t decides to take the form of. So, a couple things about Muramasa. Um, really high mobility. Like, this character is basically the spider spooderman from Marvel vs. Capcom. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, imagine it said, um, let's see, what the hell is his name? Chip from Guilty Gear. Um, think of any others, like, not Hanjuri from Street Fighter, but like, um, you know, it's like high flying, high mobility character that can enforce a uh, good mix of that uh, out of the air and whatnot. She's got really weird buttons, like her 2M trips opponents straight up. Uh, 2H, massive launcher, just puts him straight into the air. Really cool. Um, Let's see, jump age is a shotgun knocks her back. Just so on and so forth. Just a really wide range of like weird characters. And this is the thing for me. <clears throat> Haas character in the game. I just like to get out of the way right now. But the unfortunate thing about all this is that she has a really high skill floor. Like trying to do basic combos with her is really difficult. This is what I'm talking about exactly. So we go over here. And what you might notice immediately is that um oh, this is kind of a strange small set of um, special moves. Yeah, um, she's got a basic two-hit string on the ground. Kind of cool, I guess. She's got this, which is a net, basically, that tosses them. You can't really combo into this unless you're really good, by the way. Trust me, I've tried a lot yesterday. Um, and she doesn't really have anything else to be on that besides this... The web move in the air, which is kind of cool, I guess. Just odd as all. And this. Um... Right, she's only got... Well, she's got a self-healing move, I guess. Um, this thing, which you want to immediately uh, assume is anything good, but... Uh, it is a contact super of some kind. So, like, if you're comboing into your opponent... This does connect all of a sudden. I don't know exactly how this move works. That's the only instance I've been able to get to work so far. So, you know, details. And... Yeah, uh, also, I guess your main combo enters is going to be the one to air. And this thing, which is easy to combo into, ironically, considering the breadth of everything else has been kind of difficult otherwise. Now, Muramasa is really hard to do combos with. Like, when I say difficult, I mean, I spent like two out, like 30 minutes last night trying to even assemble this combo. Frankly, the fact that I even got close to doing that first time is kind of amazing. Let me try to do this again. If I can even do it. That was almost it, but not quite. Shit. You, the, the 2H doesn't actually special cancel. You have to do this manually. And it's not even a magical combo anymore. Yay. That didn't even register as a true combo, but it does normally. That, well, that took a little bit of work because the 2H here does not special cancel. <laughs> Like, literally, it doesn't. I don't know why exactly that is the case, but, you know, details, I guess. Um, but yeah, just trying to do, like, anything with her is rather obtuse. It's kind of obnoxious, actually. Again, I really like looking at her, but, like, holy fuck. Oh, yeah, 2M can't go into stand 2A, 2M either. Yay. Um. If you want an easy combo, this is probably the easiest one to go for. 
it, it puts you at enough plus frames that you're able to do a number of things like assists or uh, do a suit, do a special, a super of some kind, level th three maybe if you are so inclined. That is really the best I can possibly offer for her. Again, I've spent a while trying to assemble my notes for her and just trying to learn her in general. Really hard character. Um, I was slightly griping last night saying that um, this. I feel like this is one of the reasons why this game didn't really take off that well. It's because of dumb shit like this. You, you know, you put a fighting game player in front of a character that does like really flashy moves and whatnot. Like they're probably gonna get attached to the game. But you know, you have to get there first. But you know. Anyway, easy level three combo. As soon as I can get the hiccup from done. Not it, but that's also a really easy combo too, if you want to go for that. There we go. That should work. And that's a really easy high damage combo if you want to go for it. I'm going to be real here, Chief. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do the high damage combos I would like to. Again, I, I've, I've stressed this before. This is like my favorite looking woman in the game. Straight up. This is like the magnum opus for me. I'm not making a magnum opi joke to be way too easy. But I will straight say straight up that Jesus Christ, this woman is great to look at. Also, holy shit, this, the combos are so crazy. I guess one thing I will quickly show because I, I just find it funny. And this is kind of unrelated and I'm luckily I'm deep enough into this part by now that I'm not going to get demonetized if I show this. Um, let me see. High menu. If you look at the render of Muramasa, her ass is straight up hanging out underneath her skirt. Um, I just feel like I should point that out because... I, um, okay, for the characters that are overly sexualized like this, I'm fine with this one. Th probably because of the, the other characters we have in this game so far. So, Franco and... Maybe we can get Kaigen to work. I feel like I keep trying to get Kaigen to work. It's just not happening. But, like, I just don't know of anyone else who I'd actually like to use, really. Like, it's a small roster, unfortunately. Small roster of usable characters, I mean, in fact. And the usual spiel. One thing we'll note also is that I also looked at the visual novel database entry for this page, and there's like 70 characters. This game gets crazy. When is this? Also worth noting that is that the art style for this game is goddamn immaculate and really good to look at. Like, oh man, it was that. I think this game even had, or the visual novel even had like 3D backgrounds. I'm just like, damn, this shit has a budget and I am impressed by this fact. Holy crap. Should probably look around, let's pull up and search. Who are you splitting up with? <laughs> Your guy is not here. Oh no, details, anyway. Yes, also you are not imagining that the actual tit jiggle on her default idle stance. Fuck, okay, let me try lowering her like half screen maybe? I have ideas. Okay, where does Drake going is that, huh? Uh, other good things about her. Her jump special is kind of huge. Yo, it actually works? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Nice. <laughs> Jiggle physics on a 2D strike is immaculate attention to detail. It really is. And it's like, it's very funny, but also it shows you what they really put their work into. And I guess if we're going to really do that, I mean, I guess it is a change of pace from the rampant panic shots we've gotten from such characters as Ruli here and fucking um, Al. So that's cool with me, I guess. It just like really weirdly placed um, priorities, I guess I would say. That's something. Again, you also have not spider web nor to um, dictate where you want to go. Nope. Again, her mobility is really fun though. Like if you can link stuff together, she genuinely feels really fun to use. And the ironic thing is, I did look at the tier list for her. 
bottom tier. Like, bottom three from what I saw. I'm like, holy shit. It's such a shame that she doesn't, like, magnetize towards the opponents when just jumping around. I've killed enemy and ally for hatred and for love. That is stupid. She takes that fucking uh, Thanos method way too far. Anyway, hi, uh, Thickums, for the uh, wonderful new cell phone from Checks Notes 2015. Oh, uh, maybe not. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait to get this iPhone that still has a headphone jack inside of it. I am so sorry for iPhone users. Oh my god, that is such nightmare shit to go through. Oka. All right, well, she got massive hurt box, I imagine, so this might be easier. I actually don't know if her hair box is bigger. I like to hope it is though. Nope. Fuck. All right, hang on. Well, well, work. No. Okay. Hang on, let me get, get the Kaigen out. Boom! That is not at all what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you can enforce like a pretty funny mix up with her using the spider webs on the ground. It's not amazing or anything, but hey, it's there, I guess. Shit, I flipped around. Just go for it, why not? Maybe I'll get it, who knows? Press the button, I dare you. Yay, you press the button. I like how the move is called Ra Railgun Ma Magatsu, I think it was called. I didn't know our man actually shows up here. Holy shit. <laughs> why is my name on? Wait, she was one of them? The other ones are like Sonico and... Who are I don't know who the other two are, but okay, why? Oh, the girls on the cover? Probably. That might be it. Yeah, Oka's whole shtick is that she's jealous of the fact that everyone else is like on the cover and she's not. Servitor? That's not- I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Literally, I love how most of the dialogue in this game is just this. It's like, hey, you're the thing that reminds me of the thing from this universe. And the other character girl is like, no, wait, are you talking about this thing from my universe? I'm not that. Let's fight. Okay, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> a little weird way to engage self defense, but okay. Alright, um. And that's an example of what you can do with a combo if you know, if you actually, uh, have the execution for it, unlike me. Amazed I got that on two player. Holy shit. I'll take this. And it didn't even kill. What the hell? <laughs> we, yeah, we take those. We take those. Why not? For record, I don't know if the game. I've been thinking about this for a while now. I don't know if the game stores your high scores in story mode anywhere. But it'd be kind of funny to see who I actually technically did the best with. By its metrics. Maybe I can make that work. Oh wait, you know what? I have an idea. Let's 
So one thing you can also do that's really funny is the spider webs on the ground are also really good at resetting pressure. Let me get this. Can I get her to press the button? Surprisingly so. <laughs> That's so good. Also, I would like to mention, it's very funny that the suit of armor that she was talking about, the Muramasa, is literally just a mecha. Like, it's hilarious how many of these visual novels just evolve with the mecha anime. It's very funny. If you mean a Buddha slay it. So, you're just a weapon. Awesome. Cool. You have no agency to yourself. I saw one very funny video earlier that's basically the description of Muramasa's allegiance system. It's very fucking stupid. Your mom can control minds. That's, um, that's good to note. Um, boy, okay, that might explain a thing or two from the shit I've been hearing about from Muramasa. There's a lot of orgies, and I'm not ta strictly talking about, like, um, consensual orgies from the sounds of it. There's a lot of, like, um, multiples on one. Maybe you catch my drift. Not fun. I'm I'm good there, please and thank you. Alright, let's see here. Oop. Fuck, I almost got that one, too. I really wish that was a special cancel. That way you can easily confirm it too. Huh. Fuck, I almost got that too. I need to do my ma not maximum spider. Yo, haha, <laughs> there we go. I just shot off at least once. I just love though that among 2D fighting games, frequently one of the fun most funny tropes and famous is the maximum spider. If you don't know exactly, you'll hear this term used frequently for like other fighting games too. Whenever they have a character like a barrage like that, it's like it's Greninja's final smash from uh, Smash Brothers as well. If you need a point of comparison, fuck with that one. Oopsie. So it's literally, uh, it originates from Marvel, Marvel's Capcom 1, funny enough. It's, it all rolls, originates from this one uh, super that Spider-Man had back then. That was literally like a barrage of such. Oh, it actually does continue the combo, holy shit. Yep. Oopsie. Yep. Okay. Can I do this? Yes. Nope. Well, yeah. Man. I have so many talking points going around. I completely forgot what the fuck I was just talking about. Probably someone. That's from your, her universe. Go figure. Anyway, more of the usual. Go figure. But what's worth, I do still like this render for Al, uh, for X Mars. I think it genuinely looks really intimidating and kind of cool. Until you get to regular portrait, it's like ah, this fell apart pretty quickly. I see. Okay. Where did the budget go? I wonder. I like how Anna keeps flipping between this statement on Amatista. I can hear the sounds of gears coming from your body. How? Jesus. I think Anna really needs to oil that shit up. Good lord. There's no need to explain to the devil? What? Is this like some sort of weird like sleeper agent kind of thing where normally she's got the Anna personality but the Amatista bit? Personality comes up sometimes and just fucks up every like enemies pretty much. I actually wonder about that. Maybe I'm a little interested in the story for it. Who knows? 
지점 Nope. I actually should have gone for the level three, but it's fine. All right, that's fine. Excuse me. All right, let's see here. Um, jump. Yeah, her having a DP does seem like a problem. Oh yeah, also, yeah, Mormasa does not have a DP either, now I think about it. Nope. Oh, wait, I got it. Alright, time to win this. Nah, wait, will this work? <laughs> Somehow! Damn, I really like it when I have a super move and the execution is actually not that bad. Just double cores will go forward into B plus C. I don't always know it's light and me or medium and light. Or sorry, medium and heavy. I do like how Muramaza just have a, has a low-key sweet personality. That she's so endearing. Oh no, she's trying to commit Sudoku. Any blacksmiths would be interested in you? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, there is no consent there on your end, so you're fine. I <laughs> What am I talking about? These visual novels don't know what consent is. That was probably a bit too, too deep of a joke, but it's fine. Alright, uh, Saya matchup. This might be a good matchup. Oopsie. Nope. Not sure why it went there. Fuck, wrong one. Just get Kai get in here to just approach full screen. I didn't think it, I didn't have a confirm for that either. Nice, okay. I don't really have much to say in that one at that regard, but man, trying to do two player confirms on Hitbox is still kind of rough for me. It's just the nature of the beast and whatnot. Fuck, wrong, wrong side. Huh, visual novels don't know consent. How about light novels? Laughs and almost every sane in it. Kai and redo of healer. Holy shit, redo of healer mentioned in my chat. That's terrifying. I I, I could have gone the rest of my life without hearing hearing about redo of healer, and I would have been good. I do love how she just says Moshi Moshi at the start every time. It's kind of cute. I still wonder though, I, I do genuinely still wonder about this to this day. What happened to the Sonico franchise? Like it was super huge, like Jessica Negri was gonna like cosplay her or something and she kind of helped make it like popular with the whole curves and everything. Had an anime, had a game, was in this game, and then just like nothing. The fuck happened? Like this is not like me trying to be like condescending or anything. I actually do not know like what happened. It was such a big thing in like 2015, 2016 and just then just like 
fell off. Weird. There was a dumb controversy? Well, I mean, yeah, from episode two and whatnot, but like, honestly, that's like the least of that show's issues. All right, this could get complicated. Okay. I'll take this. Yeah, totally. For the record, uh, fuck, what was I about to say? Yeah, her level one supers are luckily very easy to do on the ground, so you don't have to worry at all about that shit. Uh huh. I love it when that happens. Single button into confirm into super. So fucking stupid. Go for it. Yeah, I think this might kill actually. All right, chat. Will it kill? <laughs> it did in fact kill. They just dropped a new will it kill the art. I gotta go to watch it at some point. In fact, there's been one for it that have featured Nitro Blasters in it before, so that's kind of funny. Yeah. It wasn't hypnotism to something more terrible. I mean, <laughs> there's um, there's probably some dumb jokes to be made about how these phones are controlling people and uh, the the weird 5G um conjure um conspiracy theories that dropped. I don't even know what why those came out of nowhere. Anyway, curse the devil armor. Oh, that we're gonna just call her a sword. Weird. We are the immortal final Necronomicon. <laughs> Still such a funny name. In a pulp story. Neither fact nor fi- <laughs> yep. Okay. Look, man, I'm just saying, you're no Key of Solomon. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I feel like Buddha is slightly higher on the totem pole than an ogre. I'm just saying. Alright, it's still a little bit stupid. I imagine that the no visual novel itself actually goes over directly the, the hypocrisies and whatnot of, you know, killing indiscriminately and whatnot to maintain, quote, balance and everything. But man, it's just so fucking dumb. That's what I think I've noticed also about extended media like this. Like, we all, it always tends to exaggerate and, like, like emphasize the character tropes rather than, like, stuff that actually makes them strong as a character themselves. This might sound incredibly stupid, but uh, brands should have been showing me a lot of love live lately, and I've been seeing that with, with oh, like there. So I'm just, I'm just looking at this. I'm like, that kind of reminds me of it. But yeah. What? The jump medium had a reverse hitboxer. Okay. Boom. Nothing personal, kid. Fuck. Nope. It's really hard to do the follow-up jump H to, to continue to combo if the opponent is noticeably tinier than normal than usual. I, especially Al here. Like this should work. I don't remember pressing backwards there, but okay.
There we go. Fuck. Can this work? Who knows? Oh, it did. <laughs> All right. Well, I was intending before I had to kill off of the Corsica for the the DP heavy into the assist, but I fucked up. I only did one button buffer and not two. Or sorry, it did one close like four, not two of them, so that is entirely my bad. I still do love how she emphasizes your stupidity and not anything else. Like, bro, that's um that's a little dire right there. I've never made mention of the really goofy ass blaze blue looking background here. I don't think there's much to talk about it. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> Didn't mention what kind of material it's made out of. This is just the lucid dreaming that the philosopher Soshi speaks of. Wait, this is all just a. Oh no, we got the, <laughs> we got the Elder Scrolls Godhead theory going on. If you don't know what that is, do not look into it. You, if you chat. Chat, I'm looking at you. If you do, and YouTube comments, I'm looking at you too. If you don't know what the Godhead theory is for the Elder Scrolls, if you don't know anything about Elder Scrolls lore, don't look into it. You will be here literally all day. And it will fuck with you. <laughs> and if you do know, you know what I'm talking about. Woof. Fuck. Oh, man. I've made, I've talked about this like casually in conversation on Twitch before, and I, I will say it again. Um, I only really got, this is gonna sound terrible, but remember, this is like 2012, 2013, 2014 I'm talking about. I wasn't really open to the idea of dating black women until like w later on in my life, like my later 20s. I'm just like, shit, why did I think about that doing that sooner? And I'm just looking at this now, I'm just like, if I were to end up single tomorrow by some horrible happenstance chance, yeah, I would. Then again, I feel like lit with how old I get, like my taste just continue to dive, like evolve more and more. I'm just like, man, I would date just basically anyone at this point in time. Holy fuck. <laughs> anyway, so massive dark elf titties. Absolutely. Yes, please. <laughs> my dude's trying to be so fucking edgy. It's hilarious. For the counterbalance of good and evil. That is so dumb. It's so stupid. And then... It, I think there's like something also in her beliefs too. That if, if misbalances reach like bad shit will start to happen. I'm just like, this is so dumb. I know that more Moss is regarded as like one of the premier visual novels out there. And I might still experience it at some point in my life. I definitely want to. Even though there's sadly no sex scenes with Muramasa herself, and she barely appears in the thing at all anyway. Kind of weird. It's still something I feel like I should probably experience it once. Maybe. <laughs> you imagine how funny the censorship would have to be if you released it on Steam? If you've never seen it before, the Honey Pop release on Steam is hilarious because they had to put stickers all over that says, Whoops, can't show that in a Christian manga. Personally, I just think it's kind of hilarious. Now, before we d we depart from the video video dedicated to more Masa, I will once again um, showcase that uh, the art style for here is pretty nice. Just uh, give me a minute. All right. So before we wrap up more Masa story, I will just like to quickly mention the fact that the art style for this is genuinely good. Not the best pull I could have found, but for a quick tertiary Google search, it looks it looks good. It does look good. I there's also like some very sweet backgrounds here and there, so that looks pretty fine. Now, I'd like to make mention of the models for Muramasa. Um, yeah, pretty spicy. I'm a fan of this. I would just like to uh, toss out there again that probably one of the best Dark Elf designs I've seen in, well, Japanese media period. So, yeah, just felt like I should get that out there. Now, I'm actually going to take a quick two-minute break. I need to get myself a soda from downstairs to lubricate my throat. Also, just take a quick break because next up, we are going into... <laughs> We're going into a series that I am unfortunately 
intimately familiar with. It's a little character called, um, Sa Sa Saber? Saber. Yeah, from something called, um, what is this called? Fate Stay Night? Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Alright, be back in a minute, boys. <laughs> 